So factorising. Factorising means taking out a common factor and leaving the remainder in a bracket. So for the first question, we're looking for the common factor of 5, e and 15. Well, the largest number that divides into 5 and 15 is 5. So 5 is going to go outside my bracket. And then I'm going to divide both these terms by 5. So 5e divided by 5, well, the 5s will cancel, so I'm just left with my e. And 15 divided by 5, or 15 divided by 5, is 3, so it comes plus 3. Now, we can check if we've got this right by expanding our brackets, because we would get 5 times e plus 5 times 3, so we would get 5e plus 15. So this is our answer. Let's try the next one. 8h minus 14, so I'm looking for the largest number divided into 8 and 14. Well, that is 2, so 2 goes outside my bracket. Then to divide each of the terms by 2. So 8h divided by 2 is going to be 4h. And negative 14 divided by 2 will be negative 7. So my answer is 2, brackets 4h minus 7. Now, for the last one, we've got c squared plus 2c. Now, the largest number that divides c squared and 2c is 1. So that's not going to be the, the number I write outside. But c squared means c times c. So I've got c's in both of my two terms. So I can divide them by c. Now, let's do c squared divided by c. Well, that's just going to be c. And then 2c divided by c would means the c's cancel. I'm just left with the 2. Let's check that one. If I expand it out, I'm going to get c times c plus 2 times c. Well, c times c is c squared. 2 times c is 2c. So I do get my question. So my answer to this one is c brackets c plus 2, close brackets. Okay, here are three more expressions that we're looking to factorise. So 8p minus 20. So we're looking for the biggest term that comes out of them. So uh, 8 and 20. Well, uh, 2 goes into 8 and 20, but so does 4, and 4 is the biggest term, so we're going to take 4 outside, and now we're going to divide both terms by 4. So 8p divided by 4 is 2p, and negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Okay, We can always check by expanding those brackets. Let's look at the next one, 4xy plus 6y. Well, 4 and 6, the biggest number that comes out of those is 2. And in terms of letters, I've got an x, y, and a y, so I can take a y out of both of them. So now let's divide both side, uh, both terms by 2y. So 4xy divided by 2y, well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. xy divided by y, well, the y's would cancel, so I'm just left with x. 6y divided by 2y would just leave me with 3. Okay. And then, okay, now let's look at the last one, 12x squared plus 6x. So the largest number that comes out of both of them is 6, though you could have chosen 3 or 2, but we're always looking for the largest number. And the largest letter that comes out of x squared and x is x. So now let's divide both sides by um, 6x. Well, 12x squared divided by 6x. 12 divided by 6 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. 6x divided by 6x. Well, 6 divided by 6 is 1. x divided by x is also 1. So it's 2x plus 1. Now let's just check this last one by expanding it. So i would be looking for 6x times 2x plus 6x times 1. So I've got 6 times 2 times x times x plus 6 times 1 times x. So 6 times 2 is 12. x times x is x squared plus 6 times 1 is 6, times x is x. So that's 6x, as expected.